Hi friends, welcome to one more video on UAE VAT. This is on a hot topic of education services. Uh, whether we should call it a VATable at the place where it has been delivered from or at the place where it is received. So there is a lot of ambiguity, a lot of discussion. So I thought, let me bring up this point for a discussion and give a perspective. I'm not giving you an advice here, but I'm giving you a perspective what all elements are important. I'm using some logic to provide you the guidance or provide you the direction which can be good to look at the transaction when you are assessing it. Let's start and I will go into this. So as we said, applying place of supply rule for education service is typically confusing because of two factors. One, should we perform the VAT from where the services are performed or should we perform the VAT from the services which are used? So why these two different topics or two different sections are coming up in the discussion? Let's look at that. If you go and look at UAE federal law number eight on, on value added tax. So what we see, there are two specific points which talks about article 30, says the place of supply or in special cases. So what they call a special case, education is part of it, where a place of supply for education or any other similar services shall be the place, be where such services were performed. So here underlying statement is where services were performed. So let's say a teacher is giving a lecture and teacher is sitting in, in UAE and providing a lecture, then technically this is being considered as services performed in UAE. So hence UAE VAT will come into the place and we have to apply whatever VAT rule comes into play. This is one section, article 30, which we looked at. Now there is something more interesting. Article 31 says a place of supply of telecommunication and electronic services which includes the supply of educational entertainment broadcast. Now there's an interesting point. Here also education or entertainment broadcast is part of it. That means education is also there. Shall be where the services were used regardless of place of contract or payment. Now we are having two conflicting statements here. One says apply VAT from where services are performed. Second place it says apply VAT where services were used. Now let me give an example of use. Let's say there is a education institute in India, which is providing online education services to people in UAE. Now, if article 31 gets applied, and since the services are consumed in UAE, UAE VAT law will apply. Now, how tax authorities will know that you are watching a video from India perspective or watching a broadcast from India perspective, let's leave that because there are various methods which tax authorities are using right now. They are looking at which IP, uh, from which IP you are, you are getting the uh, content, how you are paying the amount, how credit cards or bank transfers are being done, to whom it is done. So there are various methods for tax authorities. I think we should leave the part, how they will identify and focus on what is the right way of doing it. So you got the perspective. So just to give you again a backdrop, Article 30, which says so where services are performed and it also talks about education. And Article 31 says where services were used Again, it's also talking about education. Now, what, what should we do? So what I have done, I have brought up three points which can be helpful in taking a decision when you are assessing a case, something like this. And how to decide is, is what point comes into play. So what I did, I brought up various different points or three points as I talked to you. And let's look at how we can unwrap it. Now, one, I take an option where services given by a person, education, training, or similar services, they will delivered by a person over internet or electronic network, such as webinar, Zoom, Teams, etc., may not be considered to be an electronically supplied services because an actual person is involved in the delivery. So, you know, in this case, what's happening? There is we are not providing an electronically recorded or electronically uh, transmitting the data. Only the means is electronic. However, the physical training is being conducted by a human being or a person respected teachers which we have are delivering those sessions. So if that's the case, then we can say it is getting attracted to Article 30 because a physical performance of service performed by teacher is very much there. Means can be electronic, but that's not leaving out the place of supply rule and the place of supply rule may come and attract Article 30 in this case. Now let's look at the second option which we have. Where service is given through automated learning. Automated learning does not have human involvement. So what we are talking about, maybe a recorded e-learning is being prepared. 
you go watch the e-learning and only phone time recording is being done and we sold so i'm not talking about that transaction how the the rights of using that video as being used but what we are talking about here is if a pre recorded material electronically supplied then we can call it as part of a broadcast or an electronic service and hence article 31 comes into a trigger here the place of supply for telecommunication services i am i'm using a word as a broadcast also here we have pre recorded material all what you do is just log into the to the portal which which you have seen in some of the linkedin education series are there and these can be constituted under attracted under article 31 so this is where where services were used get attracted that means if you use any service which may be provided from from new york london delhi whichever place part of the world you have to consider if it is used in uae it may be subjected to vat and this is a broad guidelines which is coming now there is a third interesting aspect which comes there are a lot of institutes which are offering online education practice test or or modules which now can can form into different parts now how we define whether there is a human intervention or not or how it is being done so what i did i just broken this part into maybe two examples which can we can look at so if there is a classification or a digital service where a student must complete and submit an online examination paper which is electronically checked and scored by a computer that means you go do an online assessment online assessment will check it's an objective based kind of a thing or maybe artificial intelligence based kind of a verification process and the system pro pro provides you a result or a score which is the final score for for the examination in that case the services were used may trigger because here again we are getting into electronic services here we are getting into a broadcast kind of a thing or a pre recorded material kind of a thing where human intervention is not in the process of delivery there is a human intervention in creating that's a different transaction let's not mix both the transactions here we are talking the delivery mechanism only and in case let's take another example but if service involved a complete examination paper be marked by assessor or there is a there is a kind of a judgment which is being defined which can be an objective papers in general uh, although we are finding a lot of intelligence is coming up through the system also to pick up and verify the objective answers also so this is where article 30 may get trigger and we may have to look at a vat from the services where it is performed that means the applicability of service where it is performed kicks in why it's important to have a services where it is performed or services where it is used from a uae parallels perspective the vat will be applicable if article 30 triggers then if you are if you are performing service from uae example if you are giving a lecture to a uk participants or uk uh, recipients however if article 30 attracts i'm using a word article 30 attracts then since the services are performed in uae you have to look for a uae compliance from a vat perspective and these transactions may be subject to vat and where the other article which is what we are talking about 31 attracts in that case you may need to look at where services were used example you are attending a lecture from which is getting broadcast from a us or a or any city of india in that case also if the services are used in uae then either that uh, uh, education institute or that uh, agent has to have a presence in ua because it's becoming becoming a subject to a vatable transaction or he has to have some arrangement through which they can sell their services because the recipient of service is in ua so very important to look at both the articles and see where you fall into take the session and i'm sure uh, i'm i'm adding up some value in your your knowledge and in the adapts if you like it just give a thumbs up and do subscribe for any new video and and new channels which are going to come up Welcome and take care till we meet together bye